when I started practice, I never actually worked for another veterinarian. I was more or less trained by my dairy clients. I learned most by the needs of the people I was working for. As I started trying to find solutions to the problems that they were having, I came across Multiman as a way to get the copper, zinc, manganese, and selenium into animals. And after starting that, through the past 15 years, I've never had anyone that started a protocol with Multiman say it didn't work or say they didn't want to bottle next time. It really fits well uh, as a production tool. We're not looking to use it as a patch on management. We're using it to enhance production that's already there and to provide for things we just can't put through in a feed. That's where Multiman fits in nicely because looking out through a herd, even herds that have free choice mineral out there all the time, you'll still see signs of the reddish coat color, rough haired coats, and I've noticed time and time again, you go through and shoot those animals in multiple, it's like turning a TV set. Those animals will shed off in a matter of weeks and have come up with a really nice black shiny coat color because of the copper. And that's just plain science. I mean, that's what we know. Uh, color in hair, especially black, is based on copper and zinc. As you're going through and palpating cows, we give a lot of information. A lot of information is derived from the tract of the cow, especially reading the ovaries, presence of abnormalities like cyst, follicular cyst, is it follicular cyst, is it luteal cyst, what stage is are they in, percentage of cystic cows, or percentage of acyclic cows, and that's where we know where to put multiplin in if it's necessary and where it can really be extremely advantageous. Uh, multiplin turns around acyclicity in cows considerably. Uh, I've seen a lot of good results out of using multiplin either accessory cystic herds. And that traces back to mental. Reproductive cyclicity is trace mental nutrition and that's where Multiman fits in with being able to get these cows cycling and back where we want them to be. Then. At Lee Farms, going in preg checking, usually preg check a cow's post fresh, make sure every cow is cleaned up in a proper re reproductive condition to either cycle by off sink or by natural service. And then we can tell what she needs further on. Anytime we start seeing cystic ovaries or other reproductive problems, then we start putting in things in place as prevention later on and um, so we start trying to get these animals bred in order to uh, maximize the reproductive efficiency. And Lee's uh, farm primarily uses multiple freshening and then possibly if the preg checks are not satisfactory we recommend another dose of multiple then about 60 days into the breeding season. That will bump up the efficiency of off sink and effectiveness of time value of breeding. Anytime a cow is in milk beyond voluntary withholding period, it's costing roughly with today's uh, feed prices about $7 per day. That's expensive for every day that we can't get a cow bred. We need her to be bred in order to have a maximum number of peak lactations per lifetime per animal. So getting that cow bred in a timely manner by day 100 or so is extremely important. Minimizing the number of repeat services is extremely important because heat efficiency is not 100%, it never will be, so it's very important to get that cow cycled, have a quality egg every time in order to get the cow bred in a timely manner. Preventative animal medicine is the only thing that's going to make anybody money, me or the client either one, so finding things that prevent problems is the only thing I'm looking for, and that's what Multima does. It prevents ever getting to the point of having clinical signs of disease because it keeps the immune system and rest of the metabolism sufficiently fortified with these trace minerals and that's why I keep recommending it. It works. Mm -hmm.